Well, first, what is threat and fraud and fraud protection? So what we try to do with threat and fraud protection uh, at scale, really across the whole industry, is try to identify patterns. So simple patterns are detected with, 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 uh, with simple detection mechanisms. Uh, more advanced threats are detected with more advanced patterns. So the, the cool thing about what machine learning does is machine learning allows programmers or developers to develop technology uh, that can detect patterns without explicitly looking for something specific. So really what that means is you can design software um, that can learn, that can, that can uncover new patterns without telling that software exactly what to look for. So it's a way for technology or for machine learning to become much more predictive, much more capable of figuring out what a new pattern is, what a new attack, what a new type of fraud uh, might be. Well, first of all, with rules-based systems, um, you have to know what you're looking for. You have to have previous data. You have to know exactly um, you know, what the type of fraud is you're actually looking for to create the rule. Uh, that creates all sorts of potential practical challenges. Uh, machine learning is, is quite the opposite. You know, the best machine learning systems have very few assumptions and the models are very loose and open. And they're designed to uncover uh, new truths or new realities. So the combination of those two approaches gives you the benefit of having the definitive answers or rules, binary answers, yes, no for fraud, with more, um, more graduated uh, responses out of machine learning to be able to detect new patterns or new threats or, or new truths out of the data. We're leveraging machine learning technology throughout the platform. Uh, so we have several active projects and several components of, of our whole platform where we're using machine learning to predict, uh, predict new realities from the data, as I mentioned. Uh, one case that comes to mind is that we've used machine learning to very effectively detect and measure when a URL is potentially fraudulent by simply analyzing the component of the URL or the, or the, or the character distribution, or the number of subdomains. Uh, these features are actually very informative to determine if a URL is malicious or not. We're using that to triage millions of different URLs down into hundreds of potential attacks uh, as part of our takedown service. Um, we're also using machine learning to identify new and complex patterns within transactional data. So linking different, different account behaviors together, linking different non-transactional behaviors together to be able to determine uh, if a transfer at the end of the line is actually fraudulent or not. Uh, additionally to that, we're also using machine learning to detect uh, malicious behaviors within the browser. Uh, so we can detect with, with these new innovative techniques when a browser is injected in such a way, a brand new zero-day attack which we've never seen before, which our algorithms tell us is quite malicious based upon the learning algorithms that we've built. So machine learning is allowing us to augment and enhance our capabilities throughout the entire platform.